if you just tuned in, you just missed our casual round seven and yeah. Infernoid casually dismantled Cosmo. Yeah, that uh, was going into the match. We were still saying, yeah, the consistency of consistency the Cosmo deck. of the Cosmo deck is key in this matchup. Uh, if Jens Eckert loses to anything, it's going to be his own deck's inconsistencies. And that's exactly what not happened. Yeah. He, very often he was low on cards. He didn't have anything else. We were like, oh, okay, that's it. He's yeah. running out of gas. But the Cosmo deck was completely out of gas already. Th yeah, that was really strange. There were so many times where I really thought the Infernoid deck is ra like, that's it. I, he just, the, the... Nothing else coming. The Cosmo cards just have to deal with that one Omega or that one something else. And then that's it. He's, he's done. But he just didn't, Never happened. just didn't do it. And if we, we've seen some some really awkward moves. We, we saw the two Dark Destroyers getting discarded. Yeah, I think um, that lost him the game. Yeah. Like no, honesty. He said, yeah. So suddenly Cosmo not looking that consistent. No. In in this particular matchup. Yeah, considering this is the this is meant to be the most consistent version with triple cards of demise. Mm, yeah. So <laughs> is it just a streak of bad luck? I think that was really unfortunate. If he if he had multiple Dark Destroyers still left, he'd have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like very fine. Like he could have hang in there for for a long, long time. Yeah. Or just, just any Dark Destroyer. Yeah. Put on the board. Can't Th deal with then it. Then again, we also have to um, admit that Jens Eckhardt came up with some some great plays. Uh, with yeah, some, some great um, way of building his deck in the first place. With, yeah. with where are Arthu? Yeah. Um, where are Arthur? He, he made a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, combined it with other cards. Yeah, Fiend uh, Sanctuary is really cool. Yeah. It, did that come out like from the side deck? No. no uh, Fiend Sanctuary? No, it no, it's here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, that was a cool deck. It was definitely like cool. Deck. Also, forty-three cards in main deck. What do you think about that? Yeah, that makes sense when you're milling, milling a lot. With, well. with reasoning and yep. milling and everything. Yep. Yeah, yeah, monster gate. Okay, like so um, what do you think about Inferno? What's your assessment of the deck now? I still think it's really inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not convinced after this. Well, you're not I, a, I you're not a I, believer. I, I think if anything, he's proven that there are cards out there that can make this deck consistent. Where, yeah. where, where after like it's all about it was always all about being able to summon the Decatron that's 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 it if you yeah. can summon the Decatron then you're good although there are other cards like Sides and Us that put in quite yeah. some quite some work in, yeah. in this feature match right yeah. now alright um, we are of course going to talk to uh, Jens Eckert and ask him about uh, the best place is there anything else that you feel like sharing here is there anything else about the side decks for example that we should totally be talking about especially for Joshua Got a kind of standard side deck with twin twisters, yeah, of I course. Yeah, mean, Exceed Universe is one of the exciting things. That's always nice to kind of see happen, but mm. we re rarely see that happen on stream. Yeah, Magic Deflector, Anti-Spell Fragrance, yeah. Lector Pendulum, nothing... No, kind of regular stuff, really. Right. And we can, of course, talk to Jens about his side deck. We saw some of the cards from it um, in our second game, our third game. So um, let's bring him in, and we're going to be right back with our interview, our last interview of the day. We're back with Jens Eckert, who is taking the right. casual round seven to heart. Yep. He's sitting here super casually with a banana. <laughs> yes, <laughs> of course. That's. Um, do you do that after every round? Uh, no, but after this round, it, I was so... Oh, Tired? Yes. And, oh. Okay, it was a long day. It was of a long course, day. Of Ju course. Just seven rounds, but still a very long day. It's, it's almost 10 o'clock. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we started at... Uh, 
10 in the morning. Ten, yeah. So it's 12 hours later. Wow. And the night was not long. Uh, congratulations on the on your victory, of course. Yes. Thank and you. you also made day two again. Did you ever lose a feature match? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 LLDS. Is that true? Berlin? Mm -hmm. Against Rusty Adler. Okay. He plays also Cosmo. So it did happen. Yeah. Because we were like, ah, you, you've already played like the weirdest decks in the feature match, like the Six Samurai against yeah. uh, Joshua yeah. Schmidt. And you tend to win with them. Yes. This time uh, I was in Fernoids. Of course. Uh, of course. I played this deck uh, after Myland. Mm -hmm. uh, why is Myland? Uh, I played this deck uh, two and a half year. Okay. So yeah. That was uh, in 2014. Yes, uh, Secrets of Eternity. Okay, yeah, wow. And you think it's that good? It's, it's a really good deck. It's like an anti deck mm -hmm. because you can banish some cards uh, from the graveyard. Monarchs will be played and uh, what should I say I have a big combo with the Goyo defender mm -hmm. I cannot uh, showcase this in the match yeah you, yeah the the answer maybe yes, you know the combo oh no runners oh. for all um Sh should I explain really sure why not uh, I have to play uh, the permit the, the permit the level one mm -hmm. inferno it and the uh, uh, Decathlon, I have to do to level 2. Get it to level 2, yeah. yeah. And then I can make a uh, Goyo Defender, it's a level 3 synchro. Mm -hmm. It says uh, when I have only a Goyo Defender on the field, I can special some another and another. Okay. And then I can uh, overlay for Livia. Right. I exit 3. And then I uh, banish Decathlon from the graveyard for Deviatio or Nunco or right. other Infernoids. And then I can make the effect of. Uh, of 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 the 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 Livia <laughs> right right <laughs> yes copy it. and then the decathlon the back to field so so you're going effect yeah again and to level five and the third uh, Goyo defender and the decathlon of level five mm -hmm. to crystal ring okay yes yeah, so you're assembling a try again yes. how many times did that work this weekend um, almost every match one okay time, one time yeah. one okay but not in this match <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you still won in the end. Um, we thought uh, going into it that Cosmo is the more consistent deck, that it has more draws and yes. more options to search for cards. And in the end, it, it was the Cosmo deck not drawing into anything, really, mm. in the second and the third game. Yeah. Not, not trying to take anything away from you, of course, but it, it also seemed like he was kind of defeated by his own deck. Yes. How many times did that happen with your deck this weekend? Because it, it is... Is it consistent, really? Yes, it is. It is really... Uh, only if uh, at least frequency is on the board, mm -hmm. uh, I can not do it so much. Yeah, Th that's the one thing. Yes. And um, w what cards were really the, the key cards in your deck? We saw the Vanity's Emptiness. Um, yes, uh, Decathlon always. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the Where Are You? Yeah. And uh, Find Sanctuary, the level one. Yeah, uh, that token. gives you the yeah. token, yeah. yeah. And that's the combo. You play this and this. Also, uh, yeah, those sanctuary. two cards, Fiend Sanctuary, uh, then where are you? Where are you? Yeah. You go to your Decat one and can start your combo. Right. And um, since they are both unlimited, of course, yeah. I guess you you have them often enough. Yeah. Pot of the Sire, new card, mm -hmm. uh, also good in this deck because you have the Omega, the Cypheram, and you can uh, bring back the banished cards to the graveyard. Oh, okay. And it's always good. Okay, so it seems like you came up with a couple of combos, in fact. Yes. yes. And it's it's not just... Um, how did this deck develop when you say you've been playing for two and a half years? Did it change a lot or was it... Yes, of course. Uh, in Dublin, in uh, European Championships last year. Last year, yes. yeah. Uh, I played with 20 traps or uh, 16 traps. Right. And now I play with two traps. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference. A every uh, new format... Mm -hmm. I changed the deck because I have to play an another way. And do you already know for the new format if you're still going to be playing this deck? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, uh, should I t t totally tell you? If Yeah, if you are happy uh, with it. We make a road trip here with a car, uh -huh. uh, seven, six persons, yeah. and our driver goes wrong in uh, Munich. Okay. And we go into the city instead of the... Uh, yeah, turning, uh, taking around. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was zero o'clock midnight yeah and i t t tell my people uh let us drink a beer here <laughs> and then we were three hours in uh, munich yeah. and uh, why i t tell you this <laughs> <laughs> so you arrived a little bit later i yes, guess yes, uh, was that uh, was it on friday to saturday uh, um no witness uh, uh 
Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday to Tuesday. So, uh, oh, okay, so uh, then you still uh, had uh, a few days to recover. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, I guess you needed them. <laughs> All right. Why are you playing uh, 43 cards? Because of uh, Pot of Desire. Mm -hmm. I think it will be different because uh, difficult uh, to... I don't know how to explain. Uh, Deck out. De oh, you don't want to dig out. Deck out. Because of reasoning, Monster Gate, and no, the okay, so engine. So many cards. So many, and then 10 right. again, and maybe not uh, uh, 10 more yeah. with the second pot. Right. Why is it not the better choice to play only two copies of Pot of Desires? It's the better. It's uh, you want to have yes. three. Uh, I uh, side every, d every game one pot out mm -hmm. because. It's better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Int oh, interesting. So, if we are rewinding everything, and this would be the start of the tournament, would you play anything differently? Two pots. Two instead pots of three. Mm -hmm. What uh, else would be in the deck instead? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh, just one. Forty-two. Card less. Yeah. Forty-two. Okay. Well, that's the fair enough. The rest is really good. Okay. It's the best. But uh, I can play. What about the side deck? Is there something super S special? Side deck. Uh, so the Kaiku um, putting in uh, some work. Yes, uh, against Monarchs, but I don't draw into. Uh, against uh, Cosmo, I bought it this now, mm -hmm. but also not. S no. <laughs> Nothing super uh, special. Decree Twister was good against Stellar Knight today. Mm -hmm. um, you get breakthrough skill? Uh, yes, against Monarchs, and I don't know. It's a sh <laughs> Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. Uh, uh, BA, but I don't play against this. <laughs> Christian, uh, fun factor. Fun <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's part of the game. Important, yeah. important yes. part of the game. Uh, Raigeki, it's the best card. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but also don't need uh, Sudwain. Good against Cosmo, and I played a anti spell because uh, you said it's really good against you. Yes, Why are you playing it then? It's, it's also good against my opponent. I it's oh, you it's you like uh, vanities. Ah. Vanities. If you have vanities with board, it's good. <laughs> if you have vanity or your opponents, if you have vanities. no board and you yeah, draw vanities, yeah. it's really bad. Yeah. Okay, and it's kind of the same, I guess, with anti-spell fragrance. If you first play your spell cards, you put up a big field, and then you flip it. It's really good. Yeah. Okay. So you basically only sight it in when you go first. Yes, of course. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's always like, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. We're gonna see you again tomorrow. I hope so. No, definitely. Are uh, you gonna uh, be? Uh, There's a night between tomorrow. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Rimini has Rimini. Uh, a tendency of uh, yes. losing duelists <laughs> in the beach. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Best of luck that you're gonna make it here <laughs> tomorrow. Um, have a good evening, guys. We're gonna be back one more time. We're gonna be looking at some of the results from the last round. We're gonna take a quick look at the standings prior to the round and uh, show you who is on top of the field, who is gonna be leading the pack into day two um, when they have the chance to take La Lorenzo Santoni's title, last year's YC's Rimini winner. With that, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back with more exciting action from YC's Rimini 2016.